Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome or welcome back. I'm Goddess Dawn and I'm live, baby. Just here to remind you, be thankful for your breaths, breaths of life. Here to remind you to tap in, to activate, to connect. You know, we came to some very early con conclusions as small children, we made some concrete decisions as children from some experiences that may or may not have been so great. Most of us need to unlearn some things in order to elevate. In order to elevate ourselves in this lifetime, we need to unlearn some things. As adults, we tend to harbor and still live by rules that we made up as young children based on experience that experiences that we had that we couldn't possibly have understood at the time. But now as adults, we have the responsibility to ourselves to dig deep and undo some of the, the trauma and the, the hurt, the pain, whether abandonment, physical pain, emotional pain, whatever that is, we're here to let that go and renew ourselves so we can live our best lives. Right? All right. Bells to that. I want to shout you guys out in my chat. My mods, my warrior sisters, Miss Kim and Priscilla, thank you so much for being here and supporting me. True spirit, my soul fam. I appreciate you being here, my warrior. We are love warriors and we're celebrating life. Yeah. Did you take your deep breaths yet yeah, this morning? Let's take a couple together. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Real deep. Fill up your chest. Yeah. Some of y'all may know this song. Love Come Down, Evelyn Champagne King as a, a little different meaning, a little bit more sexual, but I'm here celebrating love. And when I think about my God, how excited I am. Yeah. Talking to God. Believe it or not, we're not just here in physical form. No, not at all. We are empowered with God energy, God love. It's forever present at all times, in all places. Bells to that. Once that clicks for you, knowing that you're never alone, knowing that you have the resources within you to make whatever happen in your life that you desire, you're going to be golden. That's why I'm here, though, to help you. That. You know, you know, you need to remember always that your higher self just needs you to plug in, to activate, to connect so you can be guided by the divine so that you can see and hear spirit. This life is a gift. Our breaths are what keep us connected. The gift that keeps on giving, if you will. And we must honor this gift with gratitude and self-love and self-care. Drink your water, you know, take care of yourself. Be mindful when you're out in the world. Protect yourself. And by honoring ourselves, we are also honoring God. Let's take some deep breaths again. Let's just honor our breaths in this moment. 
in through your nose and out through your mouth. Release your fears and all the mental blocks caused by fear, anxiety, being disconnected as you exhale. And when you breathe in, breathe in the new energy that's lit with positive vibes, hope, love, and all things aligned with you and your mission here on earth. Let the rest of your day reflect this new energy, this connection. The divine energy within you never dies, but it will go into a slumber if you don't tap in, like for your whole life. It might take some of y'all longer. I imagine God as the best dancer in the world. <laughs> yeah, I love to dance. Yeah, that was a profession, that uh, a path that I didn't take. Welcome, Mike Nice. Good, good morning or good afternoon to you or good evening. Welcome. This is my shot of love. I don't know if you've been in here before, but welcome. Just here, just to um, you know, give you a shot of love, remind you that uh, we're bleeding. And therefore, we are blessed. Yep. You got to acknowledge the presence of your higher self. Feel the gratitude that you have from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. Once you're tapped in, you visualize, which means you hold a mental picture of the life you desire, the environment. the you that you're wanting to become. You just close your eyes, you take those deep breaths and you just imagine it, your life as a movie, not as it is, but as you desire it to be. Do this daily for a few minutes before you start your day or whenever undesirable thoughts appear, replace them with the new edits. It's your movie. As I said yesterday, if you see it, you can be it. It's a universal law, the law of attraction. We are not here to suffer, to exist in hopelessness or lack. We all have the resources within to tap into and access the unlimited supply of abundance that has been provided for us by God. What I'm giving you right now is the key, the key to yourself. That's actually the name of the book that introduced me to these philosophies about two decades ago. Key to Yourself by Dr. Venice Bloodworth. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out. But this is from chapter nine, Mental Pictures and Imagination. Your imagination is a divine gift. For with mental images, you may build any condition you desire. First comes the idea, then a men mental picture of that idea. These are the thought seeds the subconscious mind uses to grow our conditions and our environment. You have the power. Make a mental image of what you pray and ask for. Build it firmly in your imagination. Claim it as your own. Close your eyes and see it. Then realize that you have created your desire from the invisible substance all about you. Believe that you have it and you can safely leave ways and means for its material manifestation to the universal mind. Yeah. She does um, go by the philosophies of Jesus Christ. So for those of you who are concerned that, you know, where is this coming from or who, whose God is this? This is the God, the creator, the true source. You know, always remember life, attra like attracts like, and that includes behavior. So go out and spread love today. Treat yourself gently and kindly the way you want others to treat you. Remember your breaths to be conscious of them and the fact that life is a gift. Therefore you are a gift. 
sending you so much love and light. If it's in your heart to donate to the Warrior Fund too, before I go, the um, information is in the description box. We're two thirds into um, our goal for our warrior brother, Robert, for his daughter's iPad fund. Just a hundred more to go, but um, you know, whatever you can do, if you can, if not, just send love. Thank you to all who donated, some of you twice. I really appreciate it. And, and so do um, all of us warriors. Yep. Thank you so much. Your generosity is not going unnoticed. Now go make it happen today. Protect yourself, love yourself. And most importantly, well, as importantly, be yourself. All right. Till next time, y'all. Peace. Love you. Yep. <laughs>